106.7 WIZN. That's Leonard Skinner. Call me the breeze. Heard Van Halen ain't talking about love before that. Joe Vega here with you on your Wednesday rock and ride home. Call my friend Ben Barry from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Of course, you can call them at any time at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Ben, how you doing? Joe, how are you doing? I'm doing well. So I wanted to talk to you about this story. A uh, guy gets arrested for a DUI for riding a lawnmower in Wisconsin. And I guess my question is, is that a state-by-state state thing? Like, can that happen here in Vermont or in New York? It absolutely can. Uh, I would venture to say that it has um, right. occurred in probably both states. But drinking and driving laws are generally promulgated by state legislatures. And so it does vary state to state. But generally speaking, the intention of most state legislatures is to prevent people from operating anything that's motorized while they're intoxicated. Mm -hmm. And so just as a sort of precautionary measure, I would say that if you've been drinking, don't get on anything that's motorized and certainly don't be operating anything that's motorized on a public way, sidewalk, street, highway, uh, because more likely than not, uh, if you're intoxicated, and operating a motor vehicle or something that's motorized, you, you certainly have a chance of being charged. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Now, so, so I think, the, so you say public roadway. Now, here's a question. Golf course, golf cart. You're playing golf. You're drinking beers. You're not on a public roadway. Can you get a DUI that way? No. No. It's private property. It's not maintained by a municipality. Uh -huh. And I've never heard of a scenario where the municipality would have a basis to charge someone with a DWI as a result of operating a golf cart on a private golf course. Right. But if you are driving that golf cart on a public easement, which might border a golf course, then I think you're in a gray area where if a officer stops you and says, have you been drinking? And you have, and you're intoxicated, and you're in that golf cart, and that golf cart is being operated in that public easement, I think you have right. a little bit of a different analysis. I got you. I think the point here, though, is if you've been drinking, stay off the motorized vehicles. Absolutely. I completely endorse <laughs> nothing that message. good. Nothing good ever happens in that scenario. All right. Thank you, Ben. Ben Berry from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Thank you, Joe. Again, you can call Ben and Martin Harding and Mazzotti at any time at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. I'm out of here. Mel Allen's taking over. He's got music from Journey and Billy Idol next.